Hello, and this is to help you if you'd like to make a Schoology banner at the top of your course so that you can do an important announcement or a couple reminders. You can even add buttons to send your students to various places, whether that's parts for the unit that you need them to do, if there's an easy way to email them, perhaps a link to a folder in Drive for all of their assignments, anything that you think is necessary to create a banner, what you'll actually have to do is add a Schoology page that says slides banner. So a way to do that is to come up here where you see add materials, click on the drop down menu and select add page. Here's where you're going to go ahead and add everything that you need. So I'm going to put banner unpublished to help me remember that students do not need to see this. So that's this button all the way down here. So it's probably green. Make sure it's unchecked. And then you can insert an image by coming here to insert content and you can drop an image if you'd like. You don't need to. Perhaps it's a picture of the textbook. So any kind of important announcements can go right here that the students will need constantly. Feel free to bold it. Feel free to make the font a different color. However you see fit. Again, make that really large be a really big heading. When you're ready to add a button or an announcement, what I like to do is come over here to where you see table, and I like to give myself placeholders. So if I just need two buttons, three buttons, four buttons, I'm just going to do three buttons, kind of scroll over here, and you'll see the empty spot. Choose insert comment, image and media. So I build my buttons in Canva, but you feel free to find an icon that you like online. So let's say this links to our class website. So I'm going to open the Chrome icon. And you can make these buttons smaller, larger, however you see fit, enough that the students can click on them. When you're ready, choose the link option. So this could be to my class webpage if I so fit. Click on the next one, insert another image. So insert image. Maybe there's a site that they need for a current project. Let's say they're going to be using Adobe Video since we have premium accounts in the district. Ooh, very large. That's okay. Just use those circles. Make things as small as you need. And then just put these buttons side by side. And I like to backspace and try to make them all look the same style. Again, choose the link icon. And you're done. Last thing I like to do, again, you can always add another, you can always delete a column if you need. I like to uncheck the border so they look something like this. Go ahead and select everything and copy. When you're ready to post it to your course, click on updates over here on the left column and then you're going to paste, command C that there. And then the last thing you're going to do when you're ready, choose this option and the bell to make it an announcement. And whenever you hit post, it'll keep it at the very top of your course and everything is linkable. Thanks for watching.